Hey guys, what is up the Neocubist here? Welcome to Minecraft 2 episode number 3. So in this episode I wanted to do something special. I wanted to go mining. Um, because mining is completely new in this uh, mod pack. I've made a little bit more stone than I've uh, than I've needed, but it's okay. I can honestly you know, always do with a little extra smooth stone. Um, for future, bu future building escapades, it's really not that big of a deal. I'm just going to take out what's currently cooking because we really, really don't need that much. Um, and I also don't have any coal extra, so it's kind of bad that we wasted all of our coal. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. So mainly I want to be mining with the stone hammer. I'm going to have to make a, uh, an iron pickaxe, of course. Um, and I may or may not change the shaders to uh, another shader pack while we're underground. Because it's going to be very difficult to see otherwise. Um, but yeah, mining is going to be a lot of fun. You know, typically mining is not something I would record a whole lot of just because it's not unique. But because of all the new underground features I have installed, um, as well as no cubes, it makes mining completely new. Um, which is not, so not something I've ever said before about mining in Minecraft. But I've tried to change it, and I think I've been pretty successful. So let me get prepared a little bit, and then we'll go into the mine. I'm a really big idiot because I made an iron pickaxe, but I already had an iron pickaxe. Uh, but I'm actually not totally stupid because what I'm going to do here um, is try to make an iron hammer. And I actually do have exactly enough to make an iron hammer. It's going to take all of our iron though, unfortunately. And I don't think we really have anything extra to smelt the iron with. Which is a good thing we're going mining because we really, yeah. We have four iron ingots in here, but we really don't have anything. I'm going to have to start burning wood. Um, which, you know, that is, that's not what I want to do. Um, but it's going to be what we have to do here. Uh, so we'll just put five pieces in. And it'll honestly work just the same um, as coal. We'll put four in here. I really don't care. I just want to get this done quickly. Uh, but yes, preparations are almost complete. One thing we could do while we wait on all this iron to smelt is remember in the first episode when we planted all that wheat? I don't know if it actually grew. Yeah, it did. Okay, a good bit of it did grow. Um, so we can go over here and surely harvest that and then plant it back. Um, I don't know if I want to grow wheat as like a main resource. I also don't want to put in the time to determine which ones are grown and which ones aren't. So I'm just going to mine the whole thing. Um, I know those aren't, so I won't mine those. But 25 wheat is good. Um, divide that by three, you get like seven pieces of bread, I think. No, uh, eight? Yeah, no, you get seven pieces of bread, so that's not bad. I'm going to try to go for as much food as I can while I'm under there, uh, underground, because I plan on staying quite a while. Um, I do not remember, did I install a backpack mod? I did not, so I'll probably install one of those before too long. Um, I also need to get some windows going on the house because it looks kind of silly in its current state without windows. Um, this design was made in mind with windows, so I'll get those after we mine. But let's just grab all the iron we have cooked up, and we're going to do something really special. So for those of you who watched the first two episodes, thank you for watching. Um, but if you didn't watch them, I'm going to make a hammer. And if you didn't watch them, you also should go and watch them. Um, let's see. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're probably wondering, why would you make nine iron pickaxes? Well, with nine iron pickaxes, we can have a way to mine a three by three square at the same time with an iron hammer. So that's perfect. Um, and then I don't think we're going to really need anything else. I may as well just make another pickaxe um, just in case. We'll put all this food stuff up, and we will head underground. Um, there's not much else we can really bring besides wood and sticks. Um, that's really all I need. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to turn my shaders onto something I know will work better. All right, well, I didn't change the shaders, but we're just going to go ahead, and we're going to start mining. So I want to do the shaft, like, right over here. So what I'm going to do is just start mining a staircase downward. Um, and that's really all I'm going to have to do. Oh, man, why'd I have to hit dirt right there? Okay, we'll start mining it right here. How about that? Um, and all I have to do is really kind of aim down, and I can just sort of make a tunnel that goes down. Granted, I don't have a large amount of torches. Um, man, see, if I hit dirt or something, it makes it kind of impossible for me to dig through, so I'll just have to change the direction of the shaft, which isn't that big of a deal. Um, but, ooh, there we go. Um, in reality, I really just want to get down um, to, like, layer 12-ish and just start mining. Um, but one thing I didn't mention and that I have installed is something really cool. A whole new dimension for mining. Um, now you may be asking yourself, Neo, wh what do you mean? A whole new dimension for mining? Um, but basically, it's an area um, that's... Oh my god, I don't have anything to kill mobs with. Dude, I really should go and make a sword and then come back down here. Because I'm just going to get... Yeah, I'm going to get killed. I'm going to get killed, please. Okay. Okay, please. 
See, that's what I don't get. Sometimes the, the, the hitboxes are a little bit confusing um, underground. <laughs> because there's like hidden stalagmites and stalactites and stuff. But yes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go make a sword. Because we really, really need a sword. If we're going to be going underground, it's probably a necessity. Um, oh, I'm an idiot, dude. I even had all this stuff with me. I could have just made this off the bat, but I didn't. It's okay. We have 12 iron so far, which is good. But yes, we can make a mining dimension portal. All we have to do is have stone pickaxes. We also need an ender pearl, though, which is a problem. Because uh, I don't have the best track history with endermen. And I don't really know if I could get an enderman pearl. An enderman pearl. Yes, that's what they're called. I don't know if I can get an ender pearl um, easily or not. We'll have to see. Uh, this could be a problem. This could really be a problem over here. Okay, I'm trying to make sure no skeletons are going to shoot me. Those are the only thing I ever have trouble with in Minecraft. Everything else is easy. But it's like, you get one skeleton near me, I'm like, I can't do it. Like, I literally can't. Ooh, that's nice. See, I wish my health would regen. Um, but yeah, a mining dimension portal would be super cool. But again, we have to get... See, I keep thinking these stalagmites, or stalactites, I don't know which one it is, are uh, um, creepers or something. Yeah, we'll make a mining dimension portal um, eventually because that'll be really, really cool to explore. Um, it's just like a flat world. It's nothing special, but the entire thing is just for mining. So it makes it really nice. It's a really nice area to mine. What are you doing, dude? Are you stupid? Can't see me? Come here. Come on. Let's fight. I'm ready to fight all the mobs here. Come on. Yep, go ahead. All right, so that's pretty much everything. We also don't have any food. We literally didn't make the wheat into bread, so we're idiots for doing that. Also don't have any torches, so I can't see. Don't worry, I can't see either, guys. But look at this. 44 torches, I think we're good. Okay, well, let's mine this iron ore here. It's just so hard to see some of these ores. Which makes, you know, it does make mining unique, because it's, it's literally nothing like you see. Okay, come on, dude, how many mobs are down here? Like, literally, how many mobs are down here? Oh, he's all the way over there. No, we're not even going to mess with it. Not even going to mess with it. We're just going to get all the coal that we can, because that's really what I was down here for. That spider is sideways. I don't like that at all. We're just going to kill you. Okay. Is there anything in here? Sometimes there's monster spawners in here. We got a potato, so we can grow potatoes now, which is good, I suppose. I was not planning on this cave system being so big. I was going to do a strip mine. Uh, but I don't see a point in doing a strip mine when we have a huge cave right here. But yes, we have so much coal. I think we'll be okay for quite a while um, as far as torches go. So we don't need to worry about that. All right, let's light up this cave a little bit just so that you guys can see. Because um, I know it's a little bit dark. I tried to add the um, darkness corrector the preset for brightness that I have um, in my editing software. So hopefully that helps. I, I, know, I know it will help, but to what degree, I'm not sure. So let me know if it's too dark. Um, we can always mine with a different shader pack on. Um, but I wanted to try out this shader pack so we didn't have to lose immersion. Um, and there's a lot of mobs in here. They don't seem to pathfind too well with no cubes installed. They're just kind of like, what? What? Uh, what is this? I don't know this world without cubes. Um, the hammer doesn't work on these new blocks. These blocks are like limestone. Um, that's something from the extended caves uh, mod. Which there's not that many mods out for 1.14. I mean, I have a good bit, but I'm trying to just play like a vanilla survival world. Um, of course, with no cubes. And then some more stuff installed. Um, that sort of adds to the whole immersion. Oh, come on, dude. He's about to kill me here. And I didn't make bread at all, so I have no food now. That's great. See, I wanted to just strip mine. I didn't want to explore caves just yet. Because I really don't... I really don't have any business being here without any food. So it, it is kind of tricky. And I also don't want to fall in this hole. Yeah, that's just straight lava. <laughs> okay. Let's just let's just go the other way. We'll go over here. I saw creepers up there and skeletons. I'm I'm not going to worry about them. I'm I'm, I'm just going to be unbothered by them until they come over here. Um which if they come over here, I'm kind of screwed a little bit. Maybe somewhat not really. Uh, but if you see, if I turn off no cubes, I'm mining like a 3x3 three three square like this every time I mine. So when I like see like iron like this and I just mine it, I usually get all of it. And just a couple of goes. 
So it's good sometimes to break the immersion to see what you're doing. Because sometimes, guys, it's just impossible to tell what I'm mining. Um, but I guess that's part of the, the new factor is like mining is just difficult. It's different, um, which is what I was going for. I didn't want everything to be so easy anymore. Because I've mined for years, and it's very easy for me to mine now. And it's like this actually makes it a little bit different, which is fun. For me, at least. I hope it's fun to watch. Man, we already have so much coal. We already have our inventory is already full. Okay, well, let, let's go back up for a bit because I need to get some food. Um, I'm planning on mining this pretty much this entire episode. Um, and it won't be boring. I just need to get some food uh, before we can do much of anything, really. Um, I'd like to go to the mining dimension, so maybe we can try to find an ender pearl. Um, it's really not that hard to get an ender pearl. I think I'm kind of overplaying it a little bit on the difficulty because um, it's really not that bad. What I do want to do, though, is get this iron. Iron is like the number one thing I want. Um, there's not too many ores new either. Uh, there is something called lucky ores that is installed, which is like random event ores. I, I'm going to be very weary mining those. I'm, I haven't really tested them, so I don't honestly know what they do. Uh, but I assume they can do some bad stuff. And uh, I don't really want bad stuff to happen to me. Oh, come on. Bad stuff's about to happen to me, guys. Skeletons are OP. The only mob ever created in Minecraft that can kill me. Like, literally. I mean, no, I never die from anything else. It's always skeletons. Wow, this night. As you guys can tell, it looks good. Like, dude, they're camping my house. Like, skeletons are evil, dude. Creepers, I don't, I, don't, I don't pay any attention to them. They're really not hard. The creepers are not hard. It's just skeletons. And I, I don't get why they've never been patched. I mean, they're definitely overpowered. They, ha they have no... They'd never miss. <laughs> just shoot you and kill you every single time without fail. But you know what? Oh, you stole my sword, dude. Get out of here. You too, skeleton. You get out of here too. You killed me, so I hate you. Okay, my inventory is good. I wouldn't have died either if I didn't have to... This, the no cubes is nice, um, but it makes it kind of difficult. Uh, which I guess is a good thing. Again, I'm trying to make the game a little bit more difficult. Um, when compared to just default Minecraft that I've played a million times. Okay, let's get some creepers over here. Uh, we'll kill them off one by one. It's not that big of a deal if it explodes. Because it makes just a nice little hole in the ground. It doesn't really look bad. And we can fill it up if we want to. But what I don't want to happen is a creeper explode under my house. So we're going to try to avoid that the best as we can. Please don't explode. Thank you. Please don't explode. You're a joke, zombie. You're literally a joke. Okay, well, I'm going to sleep. And then we came up here to get food, so I'll figure that out. But I'm going to try to... Actually, you know what? No, no, no. Leave bed. <sighs> there we go. I need to find an Enderman. <laughs> that's that's what I really need to do. Um, if you can't, can't tell, the sunlight... Or not sunlight. Moonlight is extremely bright. Uh, which is a good thing. It's good that we can see at night. But, man, there's skeletons everywhere. So I'm going to try to find an Enderman. When I do, I'll come show you guys, and then we'll try to kill it. All right, well, no luck thus far. I went back and made some wheat. Uh, but let me tell you, once we start exploring this world, it's going to be an absolute blast to explore. Uh, just because it looks so unique. I don't know what happened. I'm not going to question it because I hate baby zombies. We're just going to run away. Um, but yes, I need to find Endermen. It's going to be difficult. Endermen I always have trouble with finding. Um, I don't know why. They just never really seem to spawn near me. Uh, which I know, I mean, it's just random, but... Eventually, I will find one, and eventually we'll go to the nether. All right, sorry, not the nether, uh, the mining dimension, but for now, I think we're just going to mine the overworld. I really just want to get down to layer 12 and make, like, a strip mine. Um, but there's all these caves near me, so maybe we'll build a little mining hut and then just try to dig it down in there. Uh, but, yes, I don't see any any uh, endermen, so we're going to go to bed and then wake up. We're just going to dig a hole downwards. Um, I need to build some ladders before I do that, so... That brings me to a mod I have. So, ladders have been the same for quite a while, but here we have a ton of different variants of ladders. So I think what I'm gonna go for is, uh, I think I'm gonna go for stone ladders, and it's a good thing we have so much of this extra stone. Hmm, did someone plan this? I really didn't plan it. I forgot we had that installed until I said the word ladders, and I was like, I'm gonna make some ladders. So we're gonna make these. We don't need that many, um, but as you can see, they are faster than default ladders. Look. Even if just by a little bit. Um, which is good. And then the ladders above this, iron ladders, I'm, I'm assuming are much faster. Uh, they really don't take much, so we might as well just make some. Just to test them out. I think this is where my rare resources are. 
So something like this, and I have a bunch of iron cooking. So we can do this, and look at this. We're gonna make some beautiful iron ladders, which is honestly crazy. We may, we'll make some diamond ladders eventually too. Um, and those are extremely fast, like extremely, extremely fast. I did test out those in creative. Um, you gotta keep in mind, I've, I've been making this mod pack over the course of like a month. So there's a bunch of, bunch of things that I've tried and I forgot about. This is more than enough ladders. So I'm gonna make some sort of mining hut. We just need to sleep. So let me gather some materials from the mining hut and I'll be right back. All right, so I don't want to try to make a staircase downward. Oh, it always looks so beautiful. I don't want to try to make a staircase downward because I have I have a feeling I'm just going to end up failing that like very badly. Uh, so we're going to go over to this flat area like right next to the house. And uh, we're just going to start mining downwards. Uh, we may actually go like, we may build it like right. Uh, we'll build it like right over here, yeah. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to build it like super fancy or anything. Um, we just need um, somewhat of a little mining hut. It's really not that important how it looks. I just wanted it to be form over function, basically. Uh, but I do want something that looks pretty. I'm trying to stick to the theme of having things that look good. Uh, at least in my opinion, things that look good. Um, they may not look good to everyone, and that's okay. It's really not that big of a deal. It's a mining hut, guys. Um, but I do like how the pods all sort of pops up as I place these blocks. It definitely adds a nice flare. It makes it look like they're actually buried posts, which is really cool, in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to need some stone brick slabs so we can hop up in here real quick. Make some stone brick slabs, just like that. Perfect. I really want to get windows in here. Hmm. You know what? Do we have enough iron to make a shovel? What kind of question is that? Of course we have enough iron to make one shovel. Oh, man. I ask the stupidest questions sometimes. Don't we all, though? This whole episode was supposed to be about mining, and now we're getting distracted. We're going to add windows to the house. Blah, blah, blah. Um, it should be interesting, though, to try and mine sand. Um, because it's it's one of those blocks that... Really? You're just sitting there? Really? Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. And, yeah, you don't like that, do you? You don't like burning. Okay. Um, I want to mine sand farthest away from the house that I can because I don't know what's going to happen with this. I need to see where the sand is first. Okay, so this entire beach is sand. It just looks odd. So we'll just stand here and try to mine this. See what I mean? It's it's not too bad. It is weird um, for sure uh, because this looks like grass. But what it does is it tries to blend the textures to give like a no cubes effect. How they made this possible, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's honestly really incredible. So we'll just get in here. And we'll try to get all the sand that we mined. Um, we're not going to need more than a stack of sand. So, 36 is not enough. So, we'll get some more. So, hold on. Make this much easier. All right. We've got all the sand we're going to need. I hope. I don't think we're going to need any more. I'm just going to throw it in the furnace. And then we're going to continue building this mining hut. Sorry about the distractions. I'd love to go to the nether too. But, you know, I don't think that's going to happen. At least for a bit here. Uh, I don't think do we have any extra coal. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of extra coal. Our inventory is also completely full. Just because I wanted to be, I wanted to have fun and build a mining hut. And the game's like, you know, we're going to fill your inventory. Uh, so we'll just do something like this. Um, again, nothing too fancy. Um, I just want it to look good. Um, because if I don't make it look good, I'm going to just feel frustrated. Because um, I, 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 that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to stick to a theme here that looks good. Uh, because far too long in my survival worlds was I building boring things that just don't look good. And I didn't want to continue that trend. Um, so yeah, it is slower. Uh, it's slower paced than building things that look good, um, but it's almost worth it. Or it is worth it to me at least. So now we need a substrate material to go in between those. Uh, I'm going to guess redwood if we have any. I really think we should have redwood, especially since we've mined, we mined like a giant, literal giant tree. Yeah, we have more than enough redwood slabs. And all we're going to do, put those on the bottom layer like this. Just so that roof outline is a little bit thicker than the rest. And we can just build it in the middle. And look, we got a nice little mining hut. Again, it's nothing fancy. It's just supposed to be a hut. Uh, but it does look good, which is what I was going for. But yeah. Look at that. A nice little mining hut. And basically, the mining hut is going to consist of a giant hole downwards. So for this, um, this is one of those times where I am literally going to have to... Um, turn off no cubes because otherwise I'm going to get so lost and this is going to take so long. Um, so yeah, it kind of breaks the immersion a little bit, but you know what? I'll just, I won't record it. All right. So I have my hole started, which is all I really needed to do. 
And now I'm going to do is add my ladders, which these are a little bit buggy, kind of. I mean, they're just faster, uh, but they do look a little stuttery. It's okay. What just happened? Did we fall behind our ladders? Okay, game. I see, I see how you do. There we go. Is that better? Really? <laughs> how does that, how does that work? I tried to make a hole downwards to mine, and the game's like, you know what? No, you're gonna fall behind your ladder. What? How does that even work? There's not even a... I'm so confused. You know what? We'll, we'll put this here. How about that? Will that make it better? Can I fall behind my ladder now? No, I can fall in the hole. I'm fine with falling in the hole, but it's not fair if I fall in the ladder. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to clean up my inventory. <laughs> As you can see, no cubes is a little bit buggy. I mean, if it gets to a point in the series where it's just frustrating more than anything, we'll turn it off. Uh, but it, for now, it looks really cool, and I like it, and I want to keep it on because it's just unique. I mean, no one else is playing with no cubes on. Maybe it's for a reason. Maybe it's for a reason. But at the same time, I want to I want to try to separate my content from other people um, and do stuff that's at least somewhat unique. So, I need to put up everything with my ladder, so let me do that. All right, let's start this mining escapade. I really hope that this ladder doesn't keep bugging out and making me, I don't even think it's the ladder. I think it's just no cubes, uh, but we're just going to go straight down. I know that's like the worst idea ever, uh, but I'm going to do it just because I want to. So we're going to go down all the way to layer 12. I don't have torches in my hands. So hold on. I'm going to go down all the way to layer 12. If I fall and die, so be it. I don't really have that much stuff to lose. Um, but we're just gonna go straight down to layer 12 because I want to get diamonds. I don't want to mine with this This bad material forever. Um, the only only real problem we'll have is if we hit something like that And I believe our ladders right here. So we're just going to go ahead and just kind of extend this upwards uh, It's kind of hard though. I guess if I do it like this it'd be a lot easier but Yeah, the top was just sort of a one-time bug thing. It's because the ladders hitbox was technically not on the same uh, path it's just because the hitboxes don't really line up uh, but yes, if you can't tell, these are a little bit faster. They're not a whole, whole lot faster, but they are technically faster. Um, I need to break these blocks, which kind of make my my tunnel not look as is is like perfect anymore. But it's it's honestly okay. So give me a second. Let me draw out all this stuff. I'll meet you guys down at layer twelve. So I did hit a new kind of stone. I think it's basalt. No, it's lava stone. Um, so when you get pretty low in the world, the hammer doesn't work on this stuff, uh, which kind of sucks. But it spawns in little pockets like this. Uh, which is more realistic because since we're so deep and we're at layer 17 now, it makes sense that there's rocks like that in the path. Uh, which honestly, I'm a fan of. Um, I think that's part of extended caves, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool and hopefully we'll be able to just drill down here. I know it'll, I don't have I have no cubes off, um, but it was just because it started getting weird when there was other blocks. But now we can just hopefully drill straight down uh, without too much problem. Uh, but you, I just have to be weary because I, I'm going to be mining kind of half and half with cube, no cubes on. I'm going to be mining mainly the path with no cubes on. Uh, besides, that's the only um, important part. Um, and we're at that level. So we're just going to start making just a shaft just straight in this direction. Um, but yeah, it should be a ton of fun. <laughs> if we hit little things like this, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, we could just mine those out. But look, we already found a cave, uh, which is absolutely perfect. It's always good to find a cave down below. Uh, because that means a large possibility of diamonds. Um, there's redstone, there's iron in here, so we'll gather all these materials. Um, again, it is still a little bit tricky um, when there's these other um, hitboxes to deal with. Uh, but it's fun, nonetheless. Okay. Um, we can also make paths out in every direction, so I'll break this lava stone right here. And I hope that there's no more. It looks like there's a little bit more. I really don't know. I don't know why it's breaking so slow. Oh, it's because we're on the ladder. Oh, it's, it thought we were on the ladder. I was like, why is it breaking so slow? Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> there's the lava. Okay, okay, we're not going to go that direction. Well, hopefully this direction isn't a bust like the other ones. I mean, the other one wasn't. There's a cave, but I was trying to just strip. <gasps> I was trying to strip mine, but <laughs> look what we found. Look what we found, guys. It's diamonds. It's diamonds. I, don't, I was going to get a screenshot, but that really doesn't look that good. Ooh. Now, it's kind of tricky to get them uh, all, at least. So, I'm going to make sure I did get them all. I mean, that was four diamonds. Surely, there's more, but I guess not. That's okay. Um, we, I don't need that many diamonds. I'd like to get 27 just to make one of those, uh, you know, whatchamacallits. What are they called? The, the um, hammers. Um, that would be really helpful to mine down here real deep. 
Uh, but the good thing about the hammer is we get a ton of cobblestone. Like, look how much cobble we already have. Um, which translates to us being able to build big projects very easily. Uh, which is good, because I kind of want to colonize this whole redwood forest. <laughs> what exactly that means, I'm not 100% sure. Just kind of build a wall around it. And then, um, just sort of... What is that? You, that plant just started burning me. What is that? I don't know what it was, but it was not fun to step into. So if you're going to be playing this mod pack, make sure, you, make sure you don't play with that. Don't mess around with those things. And again, I don't have the mod pack for download because I don't have the redistribution rights for all these mods. But uh, do keep in mind that eventually I'll release what mods I do have installed and then you guys can uh, make your own mod pack from it. But I will not be releasing this publicly. It's just... Oh! Is that the... Were that, those have to be the other diamonds. There's no way that's another pocket of diamonds. Uh, we have nine diamonds now. Either way, I'm happy with nine diamonds. I really... I'm not going to complain. not going to question it. I'm just going to take the diamonds and go. That's, that's pretty much all I want to do. I keep thinking this lava stone is like a cave, right? Because it's so dark. It looks like an opening to something. Like, I'll show you over here in a second. Uh, but as you can see, mining is just crazy. Uh, but see, it doesn't look like a cave opening if you just look at it from the side. I don't know. All this lava stone's kind of annoying, but I can't really do anything about it. I just have to sort of... Sort of roll with the punches on the on the lava stone, but I'm gonna keep mining. We're gonna keep going. So there's lava. Don't want to deal with that. I don't have a water bucket, which was really stupid of me. Um, oh, but the good thing is, is we have a ladder to get all the way up. And as you can see, it is a lot faster uh, than the vanilla ladder. Now, how you make diamond ladders, I'm really not 100% sure on, uh, but I'm not gonna make those uh, for a while at least. Um, yeah, you know what? No, we're going back down the hole. <laughs> There's a creeper like right up top. I'm just like, nope. Back down in the mine we go. Our inventory is a little bit full. Uh, but hey, you know what we can do? We can put some chests down. I don't have any wood. No, I have a little bit of wood. Um, so we'll put the chests. And it's good that we have some bearing on where the blocks are supposed to be, you know, with the lava stone. Um, so we'll just make one double chest and we'll just set it right next to the ladder. We'll literally just fill it with all the stones we get. Because um, we can always come here and collect all the stone, um, but I really just don't want to carry around all this like all these crap blocks I don't want to carry around all my ores either. It's probably not a good idea to lose everything if I die um, Yeah, I was gonna go up and get a water bucket, but uh, scratch that 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 seems like a bad idea now So we're just gonna keep mining. Uh, we'll mine off in this direction. I'm just trying to mine where there's just stone um, And I'm excited to go to the, the mining dimension because I think that one Oh, okay, so the, so it'll mine through dirt. Okay, uh, but the mining dimension is uh, for the most part no, it won't. Uh, for the most part, is just a flat area. Like it's just a it's a big like flat. I'm not I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's really fun. It's fun to mine in. Uh, so we'll mine over here, I guess. We can mine a little bit of a diagonal hole. Okay, <laughs> I just don't want to get caught up in in a cave like that, or not a cave, a, a lava pocket, and then die. You know what? We can actually mine through this just fine. It's really not that big of a deal. I'm just trying not to waste my uh, hammer durability because this the hammer won't break through these blocks. If they were in default Minecraft, it would work just fine. It's not like a bug or anything. It's just it's not programmed to work with them. Um, so we'll go up here. Let's see what this is. It looks nice. I mean, there, if there's a cave at this level, there's going to be a lot of uh, stuff here. So I'm going to make sure... Man... Those stupid plants. I keep thinking I fall into lava or something like that would just be bad. I mean, it's always bad to fall into lava. But it seems like you're just going to like die once you get set on fire when you're underground. Everyone knows the dangers of mining under here. Especially when there's all this new stuff. You just, you never know, guys. You just never know. Okay. But there will be some point, some parts in this where we will die. Um, and it's probably a bug. And uh, I will either give my stuff back or we'll sort of determine how to how to work with that once it happens. Uh, but I already know that there's going to be some points where I like fall through something that isn't there. And at that point, I'll probably give my stuff back because it shouldn't have happened in the first place. Um, now, where's this one piece of redstone I'm mining? You can kind of tell it, it's when it stretches. the. That looks like lava right there. Is it lava? Why is it glowing? Okay. So it is lava. I just have to be careful around these lava things. I'm not going to mine around lava. I just get nervous. I feel like I'm going to die and lose all my stuff. Oh, oh, our hammer's gone. Um, luckily, I think we did. Okay, 
Luckily, I, I think we did get enough stuff to replenish our hammer. Um, but see, yeah, I can walk up this or just jump up those two blocks that you saw there. We need to get back home. I don't know where home is anymore. I honestly have no clue. Uh, but we have enough iron and stuff to make another hammer, which is good. That's how I want to mine is with the hammer and then eventually a diamond hammer and enchant it. Uh, we don't have. I just wanted to get some basic materials. We have a lot of coal, good bit of iron. Thirty-one iron is not a bad amount. I just have to remember how the heck I got up here, because um, I remember I did climb up from down below. Definitely not that way. Um, yeah, it was right here. Okay. It's probably like it's probably really weird to watch me mine in this world, and and I get it a hundred percent. Like it really is. It's weird for me to mine in this world. Uh, but we have a stat. I'm going to take up all my valuables. Just I hope there's not still a creeper up there. That would not be great. I don't know if it's day by now or what. Um, but we'll go up there and check. Smelt our ores. And call it good. So this episode will be a little bit long. Just because I'm not cutting much. Because I'm just mining. Um, so I hope that's not too bad for you guys to watch. I don't think it will be. Um, it's going to be kind of... I mean, it's kind of fun to watch me mine on this. Just because it's so weird. But if you guys don't want to see me mine anymore. Just let me know in the comments and I won't do it. Um, but if you do not care, then let me know as well. Okay, so we have our glass, um, which is good. I want to make some of it into panes to try something out I saw on Reddit, <laughs> funnily enough. So we'll take all this. And then what I want to do is uh, put the full blocks. So we'll check this out. We're going to try this, and it may turn out well. It may turn out bad. I really don't know yet. Um, my, What was I using? Is it a pickaxe? Okay. Um, okay, so all these full blocks are gone. We're going to replace those with full blocks of uh, glass like this on the outer layers. And then on this inner layer, we're just going to use panes. So it's just sort of interconnect them. I don't know how well that's going to translate uh, on the outside. We'll go look at it. It may look odd, um, but if it looks odd, I'm okay with that. I just want it to look good. That's the main thing. So we'll look at it. No, that just looks, no, that, that, no. <laughs> that looks terrible so we got to make it look good I'll figure out a design I just wasted all that glass though which is unfortunate I think I'm just gonna break the panes in the middle oh I don't know what just happened uh, we'll break the panes in the middle I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna end up replacing all these stairs with just normal stone brick I I, I was going for a certain effect there but it did not work out the way I thought it would I wanted to add depth and be fancy but sometimes guys you just can't you can't do it uh, so yes, we will put just stone brick wherever I deem it necessary um, But like right here is good. There we go. I'm gonna need more stone brick Do I, 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 I really did use all my smooth stone on ladders That's unfortunate. Uh, not that big of a deal though. We'll just smelt up some more Just like this real easy um, What is going on here? What are you doing dude? Come here, okay um, all these bottom layers gotta go. They're just stairs. I hate the way that they're looking with the glass next to them They just look weird If I'm honest, they, they just look odd out of place odd whatever you want to say they don't look good Now let's go look at this from I probably should have used glass panes No, I definitely should have used glass panes. We'll, we'll replace the glass blocks. Yeah, it looks it looks fine But it needs to be panes it really does. And I hate wasting all this class early on, but you know, it's not that hard to get. It really isn't that hard to get. Now, unfortunately for us, we have to realize that this wall is like that, this wall is like that, and this wall is like that. Um, so we're going to have to do a, <laughs> a little bit of reworking here. Um, again, it won't be too bad, but it's going to be kind of, kind of annoying. We need to decide how we're going to do the walls here. If I think I'm right I think these are all stairs up here the stairs up there are fine I don't mind the stairs there uh, and maybe with the panes it'll actually work on this side and we don't have to actually remove much of really anything uh, but you know what we'll, we'll check out and see how it looks um, it's kind of weird to do it from the side well, you know it, it, it works I'll just finish the last two like this so from the inside it looks that looks fine um, but from the outside let's see um, just because of the stairs on the side um, it could go with the break in the middle, but other than that, that's perfect. I think in the very, very middle, though, it should have a big break, uh, like right here. Um, we should just fill that with solid blocks like this. 
and then I think that will be perfect. And that will frame the window nicely. The window shouldn't be that big and continuous unless it's like a grand window. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Okay, cool. We have that down. We'll do the exact same thing on this side. I won't show it though, so hold on. There we go. Looks good. Um, now, the only thing different is going to be the door. Um, you're just going to have to frame it with some um, stone brick, some solid stone brick. Because right now it just looks weird. It really does look weird. I'm not sure. No one said anything. Everyone said the house looked nice. <laughs> but I think you guys just don't want to admit that sometimes I'm just bad at building like everyone else. Uh, I really am. I mean, I'm never, I'm, I, I never thought I was the best builder in the world. But this build right here kind of made me sad. It just doesn't look right. Um, the stairs should be opposite of where they are. There should be solid blocks and then inward facing stairs. Uh, they should just look different, but we're not going to fret about it. We're just going to change it and uh, make sure it looks better. So the door obviously has to be framed 100%. There's no getting around that. Um, and then as far as the window goes, um, there's a layer down here. And then everything else is framed like this. So we can still have a window here. It'll be still very big. Um, do I have any more glass? Yes, I do. I'm an idiot. I keep thinking like I need to make more glass. But, like, dude, I have so many glass panes. Um, so this window will be a regular, which is perfect. Uh, seeing as how every other window matches, it's good to have a third sort of window. And uh, now if we look at this house, it'll look a whole lot better. Oh yeah. Once you have, once you add windows to a house, guys, it's, it's, it's night and day. I mean, that, that, that looks like a proper house. That, that, that looks like a proper house. Okay. Good. So now we can get back to mining. Now that I got distracted pretty majorly. Um, I should probably plant those seeds that I had extra of. How many extra seeds did I really have, though? Um, where were they? In here? Yeah, oh, there's 62 extra seeds. Okay, I'm going to plant these because I need to. And I'm also going to make another hoe. I'm going to make it out of iron because, you know, I'm feeling fancy. Um... We'll go over here, put this in here. We don't need a shovel. Uh, let's see, coal. We don't need coal. We don't need this iron or this or this or diamonds. Yes, okay. Let's go plant some more of this. I know I keep falling and hurting myself, but it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Um, yes, so this wheat is growing quite nicely. Um, to make path blocks, I should have tested that with the shovel I had. I'm curious to see if pa how path blocks work, uh, but I am going to use... Um, no more, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use normal uh, normal mechanics for this. Hold on. This, this isn't even going to work. I'm going to move this entire field. We're going to plant it somewhere else. I don't want it over here. It's too far away. You're too far away. I have two stacks of seeds. There's 128 wheat if it all grows right. And then there's also multiple. It's about 150, 160 wheat. Um, when, oh, once this all grows. So I think that will be enough to eat for at least a little bit. Um... Again, I'm going to turn off no cubes for this. It's just it's just going to be way too difficult if I don't. Um, okay, let's go grab some buckets, which will be nice. Um, I don't have any buckets. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll make two buckets. How about that? Okay. I know I'm, this episode is called Making Mining Fun Again, but we're really, we're just making a giant farm. I mean, we already did some mining, but keep in mind, I do want to do more. Um, I'm just doing this now because... I'm tired of going underground and just dying because I don't have any, I don't have any food. Um, this right here, we can just go ahead and remove. It doesn't really need to be here anyways. Yes. Okay. Can we till this? Can we till this? No. We cannot till this at all. You know, it's actually all pods all. But for some reason, it looks like grass. <laughs> but it, it literally is all pods all. Okay. Well, we'll have to find somewhere to do this. I don't know where. That's that's the only problem because this is literally all pods all. That's funny. I thought it was I thought it was grass for the longest time, but I mean if we turn on no cubes, it is grass, which is just odd. I don't know why that is. So I'm hoping we have some dirt. No, we don't have near enough for what I want to do. Like not even close to enough. So we'll have to gather more dirt. But I wonder what happens if I make path blocks on um, grass. Well, I don't even know where grass is. Man, this is frustrating. <laughs> Maybe I will turn no cubes off. What? Maybe I will turn no cubes off. It just, it makes the game a little bit buggy. But that's okay. It's Minecraft 2, guys. They still don't have the first one down right. How could they have the second one down? Wink, wink. Okay, so we'll go mine. I don't know where to mine this dirt at. It's also going to be night anyway, so it really doesn't matter where I mine it. Okay, let's mine it over here. 
Okay, don't mind me. I'm gonna mine dirt. Okay, so I have more than enough seeds um, to fulfill my wishes. We're gonna turn on no cubes again. Um, it's gonna be difficult to build this farm. Um, so I want to keep no cubes on most of the time, but there's 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 times, guys, where it's just it's just frustratingly hard to to get things done. Um, the mod is still kind of buggy. I'll update it when the versions come out, but honestly, a version doesn't come out in a while, so I may just we we may remove it. Let me know in the comments. For those of you who are still watching, you're probably bigger fans than most people. So let me know. Do you think I should remove it or keep it? I'll leave it up to the fans because I don't want to decide that. I really don't. I want to see what you guys think. Because, um, I mean, like right now, like you see, I'm like in the dirt. Uh, <laughs> which, I mean, it kind of makes sense. If I look at it on this perspective, it looks like that. But if I turn it on, that's what I'm actually doing. So, again, it is a little bit tricky. Um, and when I extend this out, look. It does not look like that. <laughs> like you see what I mean? So it is weird. It's it would be impossible to build this farm with no cubes on. So excuse me for turning it off, but sometimes guys, it's just gonna be necessary. Uh, we'll make this look nice. We'll put like some wood around it or something. Uh, we'll mine some redwood trees. But I wanted to finish this episode off by mining. So let me put all this dirt down. Uno momento por favor. Next step is tilling this entire thing. See, and w when we look at it, I can I can do it on no cubes now, uh, but when you look at it like this, it does not look right, and there's somehow grass on it, and that's just dirt, so I don't know how that works. No cubes is crazy. It does a lot of things really well. It makes the environment just look so much better, um, but there's there's there has to be a happy medium between the two, because right now it just it's just weird. Um, but yes, we'll do something like this. See, because I don't even know where the grass really is, and I can try to break it. Uh, but then there's still some grass here, so I don't know. It's just weird, guys. It's just weird. Um, but yes, we will till this too and till this. Okay. Alright, we'll plant all the seeds back here. So, well, some of them will be kind of in the dirt, but it's not a big deal. Uh, but this will be absolutely enough food to power us through for a while. Uh, but I don't want to do this without making it look good. So we'll, again, I'll put some wood around it and make it look really nice. I know I'm missing a ton, but I have a ton of seeds to plant, and it really doesn't matter because I'm going to have to miss a bunch of them anyways. And they're good. It's good when they don't have space or when they do have space in between them. For some reason, it makes them grow faster. Don't ask me. I don't know how that works. Too much fancy Minecraft knowledge. I'll never understand. Well, look at this. I've made my own version of Minecraft here. So either way, I mean, I, di I, di I didn't make it, but mod developers made it, and I use their mods, and it looks good. Okay. We'll put this here. Well, you know what? Torches on a mining hut makes sense. Probably good. Probably good to have some light out here. Okay. All right. We're going to go mining. I don't really have any wheat to make food with, so the problem still exists. Uh, but we do have enough iron to make us another one of them hammers, which is what I wanted this entire time. Um, but yes, we'll make this. We'll eat it. Um, but it's not going to be that helpful. It has pretty decent saturation, although you can see it kind of going down rapidly, so maybe I spoke too soon on that. Okay. I'm trying to remember how many sticks we need. Well, not 15. Okay. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So one hammer, I think, will get us a little bit of a surplus if we mine iron. Like, okay. Well, how I'm thinking about this is in the time it takes to destroy one hammer, will I get more than 27 iron? And I think the answer is yes, um, for the most part. Uh, but let's go down here and see. Of course, as I head down here, I just completely forgot. I have my inventory just full of, I was gonna say filled with crap, but I, for some reason I just can't speak today. So we're just gonna throw it all up into here. We'll grab it later, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but really all I need are these things right here, and then some extra torches um, are fine. We'll just fill up our internal stack here and throw these in there okay let's mine some more um i don't know why i stopped mining this direction oh i didn't remember there was this lava rock and we're gonna power through it oh yeah <laughs> i'm telling you mining in this is just so weird it really is just weird it, it, i know for you guys it's probably even more weird because you've never played with no cubes i played with no cubes like a, a, a long long time ago guys like three or four years ago and I made a series, I think it was called Minecraft 2 as well. Um, I just, I didn't have as many, okay. I did not have as many mods installed. Um, it was still cool, um, but I never really took that series anywhere. And I kind of want this, people voted for a vanilla Minecraft series, and I was going to do it, and then I was like, 
But 1.15 doesn't really add anything new at all, and I wouldn't find it that much fun. So I wanted to do something that I, I'm sure to have fun with, and this is this is that. So it's nice. It really is nice to be playing something again I enjoy. Um, the Falling Falling series will also still continue the new one. So don't you guys worry about that. Um, I'm just excited to record this series, so I've been doing it a lot. I'm mainly excited to mine. I really do like it. I wish Lava Rock could be broken with this thing. Uh, but again, I, I, I don't really know how I'd add that in. I have no idea. I'm not a mod developer. I don't know these things. I shouldn't be using it, though. That's that's a st stupid idea. Ooh, look at that. Some lapis. Okay, we can mine this right here. Okay. Yes, lapis is always good. I'm always a fan of lapis. Now, can we get out of this lava rock? Man, this is cramping my style, this lava rock. Like, the, the, the extended caves, you, you guys are adding... It probably looks fine, like, when we're when we're in it like this, looking at it, you know, in a normal perspective. Uh, but in here, it just looks kind of broken and weird. A little bit. It does add that immersion, so it shows you where you actually are, though. On the, on the grid of blocks that is Minecraft. Because usually you don't really know where you are with no cubes, but... If you have that installed, it gives you a pretty good idea. Okay. I need to keep mining on this layer. So, we'll put these down. The good thing is this cobblestone is unaffected, which is probably my favorite part about it. If it was affected, it would be very, very difficult to mine. Like, just so difficult, it wouldn't even be fun. Okay. There we go. So, no diamonds yet. We found two pockets of diamonds really quickly. Which probably shouldn't have happened, but... You know, I, I seem to have pretty good luck with this. I do want to go cave exploring soon. I just don't have armor, and I'm kind of scared about not exploring without armor. Uh, just because there are more dungeons underground now and stuff to explore, which gives us something to look forward to. Uh, but I want to make sure I have a good bit of actual tooling, um, as well as armor. I mean, I have an iron hammer, which is okay. Um, it's about to run out of durability, and I've only found 16 iron so far. And granted, it is going to be just completely random. Um, you know, it would be nice if I could get 27 iron out of this thing. And that looks like lava, so we're just not going to go there, because hitboxes are going to be weird, and I'm going to end up falling and losing all my stuff, and then getting extremely frustrated. So we'll just keep going this way. And now we'll go this way. See? See all that bright glow? Makes me think there's a, there's there's going to be lava, but I guess not. See, if I look at this path like normal, it probably looks so weird. It's just like a, a very, very odd path. But on this, it looks it looks like a beautifully sculpted cave. Um, but if you look at it like that, it just looks weird. Oh, no. We can't do that. That is that is one little bug, is you can always go through the hitboxes. So I try to stay away from the edges of the walls. Uh, which, you know, I shouldn't have to do, but no cubes is still kind of buggy. Like I said. Okay, well, if I find anything doing this, I'll show you guys. But for now, I'm just going to mine. Um... And uh, see what I can get. That was the wrong button. What is that? That's P. Oh, wow. I don't want to look at that anymore. <laughs> that confuses me. What? Okay. Well, mining's been kind of a bust. I didn't really get anything. Um, I have a little bit of iron ore. Again, I was hoping for more. Um, but I'm excited to get to the mining dimension. It's going to make mining a lot easier. I don't think any of this stuff will generate um, all this lava stone and stuff. I think it'll just be normal blocks like to <laughs> look at that torch <laughs> uh which is nice it'll be i mean it's, it's nice for me at least um because mining through this stuff is kind of a pain in the booty a little bit it just it just depends on how you look at it i guess um but it's also kind of hard to find my way back there we go i see chess so i know that's the way i know the way uh but yes thank you guys for watching episode three i'm sorry it ran a little bit long uh, not a little bit long it ran a lot bit long um, but it's not a bad thing, I don't think. I'm going to transfer all this material uh, to our house in a second. Um, I'm going to do that off camera just because it's a lot of stuff. But thank you guys for watching. I genuinely hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. If we could get 2,000 likes, I would be absolutely floored. That would be incredible. Again, you don't have to do anything you don't want to. But if you liked the video, it would be uh, nice of you to leave a like. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, make sure there's no creepers. I will see you guys in episode four tomorrow. All right. Bye.